That's the Kangaroo KLP1 Core XY printer, current price $330, that's what I paid for. Not too bad in my opinion for the specs, but now let's do an unboxing and let's find out if it's worth the price. If I like a 3D printer, there have to be some specs, like it must be a Core XY printer with a full metal frame because of stability reasons. It must run Clipper firmware. Maybe you're not a nerd and you don't know what that means. With Clipper you can print super fast up to 500 mm per second and you can do cool things like Wi-Fi. You can start and stop your printer from everywhere with your phone or your computer. It must have a hardened steel nozzle so I can print also tech filaments like nylon or like carbon fiber filaments. It must have a hot end with 300 degrees Celsius and an enclosure so I can print also high temperature filaments like ASA and ABS. And it has to be low cost, maximum $300. So let's search for the printer and guess what? It's already here, so let's check it out. I got the King Room KLP1 for test purposes because the specs seem super promising. It's a full metal frame Core XY printer as I wanted. And it runs on linear bearings, so a maximum print speed of 500 mm per second seems realistic, which is super fast. It comes also with an acrylic enclosure and a hardened steel nozzle, so tech elements like nylon are possible. These are all the good things you need for high quality prints. It comes pre-mounted as you can see here. The only thing you have to do is you have to loosen some screws on the print bed and on the extruder itself. It's super easy, it takes maximum 5 minutes, just follow the instructions. You have these red arrows so you can't go wrong. Just loosen one bolt in front of the extruder, one in the back. Make sure the rail runs free. I have to turn around the printer so I can reach the screw in the back. Then make sure the extruder runs free. Plug the printer in, turn it on and Kingrun starts automatic clipper firmware on the motherboard. I have also a cool discount for you. Get $39 off of the total price till January 31. Just follow the link in my video description and use the code KLP1. At next, click in the clipper menu on the home button to home the printer so you can remove the foam core underneath the print bed. At next, click on configuration on Wi-Fi, enter your Wi-Fi password and Clipper connects automatically to your network. Note the IP address, type it in your browser and the printer is connected to your computer. Next step is to mount the enclosure. It's not pre-mounted. Uh, King Rune says it's because of safety reasons, so the acrylic won't be damaged during the transport and delivery. But you get all the tools needed to mount them yourself and it takes not much time. 5 minutes to invest to screw in all the bolts, super easy and you have also instructions how to do that. At next mount the spool holder on the back of the printer. It can hold also bigger rolls of filament so you can use every filament you like. And the printer comes also with a filament sensor which is super cool. So Clipper firmware can check if you run out of filament. You have to mount the knobs of the door of course. At next you have to set up the Z offset. Just use a piece of paper. And there's a macro and Clipper firmware you can use. Just click on the macro Z offset. And do the adjustments until you have grip in between the paper and the nozzle. Then you can click save and you are done. At next click on tune in the left bar of clipper. Click on calibrate and that button activates the auto bed leveling of the printer. And the printer does all itself. You have to do no manual bed leveling at all. And now you can load the filament. Go back to the main menu of clipper. Use the preheat macro to heat up the hot end. Wait until the hot end reaches the temperature. Change the extrusion length to 50 mm per second and click on extrude and the extruder starts to load your filament. The King Room KLP1 comes also with an input shaper which compensates all the bad vibrations in the driving belts and stepper motors. Just click on the shaper macro and the printer starts the input shaping. It sounds a bit like a starting fighter plane, just wait until the process is done. The 
last setting you have to do is the pressure advance of the extruder and to do that you have to print the file. So go in the print menu of Clipper, search for the pressure advance calibration file and print this file. And what the printer does is it prints several lines with numbers on the right side. When the printer is done search for the best line printed and note yourself this number. Now you have to change the print config. So go in the print configuration menu, search for print config, open this file and then go on line 116 and change the number for the pressure at once. Save the file and you are done. The first things I wanted to print were improvements for the printer. It comes with a pen display and I'm one of these guys, if the pen is not stick direct to the printer it will be gone forever. And to make it safe that the pen will be not lost, I designed the pen holder for the Kingroom KLP1. It can be used with the original screws and here it is, my pen holder. Here you can see the linear rails in action, the printer prints super fast and accurate. That's what I wanted and yeah, as mentioned, you can use the original screws to mount the pen holder. You can strip the pen direct to the pen holder so it can't get loose. First improvement done. The next thing I wanted to change were the knobs on the printer because they look like stolen from a dresser. I'm a designer and that hurts my eyes so I designed new ones in a cool shape. Black of course and that's the second thing I printed with the printer and you can find the files of course in the video description if you want to print them yourself. And it seems that today is knob day because one of the knobs of my pots broke so I can't lift the lid without burning my fingers and I can't cook. What should I do? Redesign the knob, reprint the knob with the King Rune KLP1, mount the new knob and I can cook again one of my favorite soul foods, pasta. Mmm, spaghetti, my soul food. Now I can lift the lid without burning my fingers. Perfect. Yeah, we both are ready for dinner. Don't forget to check the printer if you're on search for one. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one. Goodbye.